Welcome to my lakeside property. As you can see, I've put a lot of work into maintaining a healthy and vibrant area to live in since we moved here a number of years ago. Through all my experiences on this lakeside property, the single most important thing I've learned is the value of a healthy buffer zone. To us, it has acted as a natural insurance policy for maintaining our water quality and protecting our land. And the best part about our buffer zone is that it does all of these services for free. Today, we are in luck as we will be meeting Piping Plover Penny from the Alberta Riparian Habitat Management Society to walk us around a flowing or low tick and non-flowing or lentic buffer zone so we can see all of their benefits firsthand. Oh look, here she is now. Hey Penny, we were just talking about buffer zones. Would you care to explain a little more? Hey Lacey, thanks for inviting me out here today. It looks like it's going to be a perfect day for a stroll through Lake Wobbeman's riparian area. I hope you brought your rubber boots. As you'll see, these areas are defined by their ability to get wet. A buffer zone is the area of natural vegetation that runs along the length of the streams, rivers, lakes, and wetlands. Just like the one we were previously standing in today, a healthier buffer zone will include large amounts of native vegetation, even fallen trees, washed up branches, and natural pebbles and rocks which can make it look messy or unkept to the untrained eye. It includes both areas upland of the high water mark, known as the riparian buffer, and the area below the high water mark, right down to the water, known as the aquatic buffer. Take a look around and note the differences between this buffer zone and those on your property. I bet you can already see some changes you can make to create a better buffer zone for your home. Over the years, many property owners have cleared buffers for views to tidy up the shoreline or to create better access points. Manicured lawns, ornamental gardens, artificial beaches, retaining walls, and other hard installations inhibit a buffer's ability to function effectively as pollution prevention. In fact, without a buffer zone, you might find that your shoreline becomes an erosion zone. With erosion, you risk property loss, civil litigation, and possible criminal charges if fish habitat is harmed or destroyed. All of these penalties will cost you quite a lot of time and money. A buffer zone should always include a riparian area, but sometimes an upland area left in its natural state can act as a buffer substitute as well. The boundary of a riparian area is most easily identified by unique vegetation and soil that is characteristic to this green zone. The riparian area is highly influenced by the pr presence of water seeping through the soils. An effective riparian buffer mimics the complexity of nature with vegetation of many different types. To identify riparian areas in Parkland County, you can look for native plants that thrive in wet soils, like willows and sedges. However, it is important to remember that some soil types may not support the full variety of vegetation you would expect in a riparian area. Even without a large complexity of plants, a riparian area might still be considered healthy. Buffers on streams or flowing water systems provide many of the same functions as those on lakes and wetlands. Most, if not all, of these functions come with a direct benefit to humans and are known as ecosystem services. With proper management practices, you can maximize your ecosystem services and start having your property work to help you. Some of the functions of ecosystem services are their ability to protect water quality, vegetation found in buffer areas filter toxic substances and pollutants from the water running off upland areas and into our water bodies. Native plants are great filters of chemical, nutrients, bacteria, and heavy metals found in pesticides, fertilizers, and wastewater. Vegetation can also act to slow down the flow of water, thus allowing time for large substances and soil particles to settle out. In this way, they trap sediment and reduce its deposition into water bodies. Buffers are also great bank builders and stabilizers. Root systems of aquatic and riparian vegetation act as a skeleton and hold the bank soils in place, reducing erosion. The deeper the root system, the more stabilization. So if you are thinking of actively planting or restoring your buffer, be mindful of choosing some species with deep root systems like trees or shrubs. In cases where erosion is extensive, landowners may face property loss or damage. So it is in your best interest to maintain a stable bank or let the buffer do it for you. Another great advantage the buffers create 
and one that might be important to some viewers is property value. Market research has consistently shown that the property value of a shoreline area highly correlated with the health of the buffer zone. This is because these buffer zones protect your buildings and trees from the effects of erosion. This not only protects your property from damage, but it also gives you a better quality of life. Trees and vegetation work to cool off your home in summer months by providing shade and keep it warm in winter months by protecting it from wind. Repairing areas can also protect your water supply. Proper management techniques help combat the damage of droughts and dry periods by storing water in the soil. This allows you to cut down on watering costs during dry times and saves you a load of money. Damaging your buffer zone has even more negative consequences. Removal of these key areas leads to a substantial loss of fish and wildlife. See how animals flock away from areas of poor health? And if that isn't convincing enough, not having the spongy soil that exists in healthy riparian areas can increase your chances of having a flood. Where is all of that water supposed to go when the soil is too damaged to hold it? Well, I guess this is my time to say goodbye. I hope you all learned a lot about buffer zones and their importance in our shoreline areas. See you soon, Lacey.